now come to this accumulator part we can see we have 8 9 10 11 inputs which are ai ao clock and d7 to d0 and we have 8 plus 8 16 output these are the data uh, 8 bit will go this 8 bit data will go to the 8 bit bus directly 8 bit bus when ao is enabled uh, let me tell you ai and ao is direct these two instructions are coming from the accumulator controller sequence when ai is enabled the accumulator will load the 8 bit data from the bus when ao is enabled the accumulator will send the loaded 8 bit the data to the bus the main purpose of the accumulator is to load data and when it will load data in the next clock pulse it will send this data in directly alu which is arithmetic logical unit let's look take a look what's inside our accumulator as it is our 8 bit computer we need <coughs> 8 bit register you can see 8 block here each block is the 1 bit register we have connected ai ao d0 clock and ai ao clock are sorted with each of the 8 1 bit register d1 like d1 till d7 and we have 7 output 8 outputs uh, 2 outputs from each of the block which is a7 ac7 and like this a0 ac0 what's inside this it's a simply d flip flop we have i have already mentioned you that we have created all the register in the same manner and here you can see this ai and data has been ended and clock is connecting to the d flip flop and the output is coming here this output is going to the alu or arithmetic logical unit when ao is in enable and ao has been buffered with the output ao is enable the output will directly go to the 8 bit bus so that's all about accumulator